All right, Leo, we got dreaming for your first card. Manifestation, second card. And then we have sensuality. So I'm seeing more than one message. Now, some of you guys could be definitely manifesting something. Some of you guys actually manifest in your sleep, Leo. Maybe you could be meditating a lot more. Uh, I'm just getting a lot of daydreaming about, you know, something that you want, Leo. But I'm just getting this energy where a lot of you guys are definitely in your mind about something that you really, really want because you want a better life. I feel like you guys just want a better future, a better life, whether you are dreaming about this, daydreaming about this, manifesting this. Some of you guys are manifesting with your yoni. Maybe you do know how to manifest using sexuality, Leo. But I just felt like if you want to look at it at a personal standpoint, I feel like you guys definitely do um, want a better future, Leo. And I feel like you could be thinking about how can you bring that about? How can you, you know, get what it is that you want, Leo? But I'm also getting this energy because I told you I got two messages, more than one message. Some of you guys, there is somebody that is thinking about you and trying to manifest you back, Leo, because they want to have sex with you. Some of you guys, there is somebody in particular behind the scenes that is probably, like I say, thinking about you, daydreaming about you or whatever. Maybe they're thinking, picturing in their mind about making up to you. I don't know. But some of y'all do have somebody in particular that is in the background that is trying to get you back. Because they do miss you. And they do want to have makeup sex with you. Um, but personally, I feel like y'all could be wanting a better future, Leo. So y'all just take what resonates. Maybe both could resonate, you know. This could be your energy. It could be their energy. Whatever the case may be. But we got temperance reversed. We got eight of wands. Somebody could have Sag in their chart. Or Aries. And we got the emperor reversed. So... I feel like somebody is gaining to be very, very impatient, Leo. Whoever this is, this is somebody that, you know, maybe they need some healing, I'm hearing. Some of you guys, this person probably needs to heal. And they're getting ready to reach out to you with this Eight of Wands. Whoever this is, this is somebody that is definitely getting ready to reach out to you. They want to speak to you, Leo, um, because they can't help themselves. They just cannot help themselves. Um, we got the Emperor reversed okay what else spirit in this situation we're going to clarify with the um well yeah island time <clears throat> so like i said y'all just take what resonate because some of y'all are definitely manifesting you know a new life the rest of you guys there could be somebody that wants to have makeup sex with you and you will hear from them you definitely will hear from them, Leo. We got the chaser. Look. Let me, let me take the top one. We got wedding rings. And we got heartbroken. So, this person definitely will be chasing you. Like I said, this is somebody that is very impatient. You know, and they want you, Leo. I'm hearing bad. This person wants you extremely, extremely bad, Leo. Um, some of you guys, this person is afraid of you leaving their life. And, um... And not only leaving their life, having a better life. They're afraid of you actually getting away from them, leaving them. You know, I'm just here to escape. Like, your person is afraid of you escaping escaping away from them. But um, some of you guys could be somebody that you are currently married to. Or maybe they could be married to another individual. If not, it's saying that this is somebody that always will love you. Because... This is somebody that looks at you as everlasting love. This is somebody that always, I keep hearing somebody in particular, Leo, whether they married or not. This is somebody that has not forgotten you, Leo. I just keep hearing in the back of my mind, unforgotten. They haven't forgot about you. They look at you as marriage material. And on top of that, I, I feel like this person will forever love you. You were always in this person's heart, Leo. You're always in this person's heart, like literally. And, and to be honest, I just felt like your person is not themselves. We got temperance reversed and we got the emperor reversed. They're not themselves. They're out of control right now, you know, but um, they're heartbroken, to be honest, because you walked away. The emperor reverse can also mean somebody walked away from somebody that was very controlling, 
you know, and it, it really does break this person's heart, Leo, that you are done with them, Leo, because they don't have access to you. They can't, they don't have that control over you anymore, Leo, but walking away and out of this person's life, it really does put a stab in their heart for real, because I got a feeling this is somebody that, once again, that will always love you, Leo, no matter who this is, this person will always love you, but let's pull some more cards, spirit. I'm going to pull some of these. What was that, Spirit? Pull some more of these cards. Because I like these cards. Wow. Some of y'all could be manifesting new love. And maybe they picked up on that energy. Especially if this is somebody you have a spiritual connection with, Leo. Maybe they had a feeling that you were moving on. And, um, and, 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 and will... Ooh, some of y'all, this person had a dream that you had somebody else. This person had a dream that you were sleeping with somebody else, Leo, whether it's true or not. But I'm getting so many messages. So this could be your energy. It could be their energy. But somebody did have a dream that somebody was sleeping with somebody else or that was with a dream person and they was married. Some of y'all's person had a dream that you was actually in another commitment and you got married, Leo. And I'm telling you, you being in another relationship, Leo, it really does hurt this person's soul that you would even be in another connection. That's why they are chasing after you, Leo, because they don't want that to happen. They don't want you to go. That's too many cards. But let's see. We got surrender. What else do we have? All right. We got surrender. We have introspection. And then we have comfort. Leo. Okay, we're going to clarify. Okay, so yeah, basically when they do reach out, y'all going to reject this person, which is leaving them like I said, pissed, pissed off and heartbroken because you let go of them, you know, and I just feel like a lot of y'all have gained to be very comfortable being alone without this person, you know, and um, you leaving this person in their head now, Leo. Okay, let's let's keep it moving. Wow. Some of y'all dealing with a Gemini, like I said, Sag or a Aries, or you could have these placements in your chart, Leo. Wow. Some of y'all letting go of this person because you feel like they're trying to put something on you. Maybe if you feel like this person is trying to put a spell on you, if you believe in that type of stuff, if you believe in spell work, if not, scratch it out. The rest of you guys, you just letting go because of the manipulation, the mind games. Like I said, this is somebody that may have been very controlling to you before, and you just feel like you have to just let it go and, and, and manifest you a better life, Leo. I just keep hearing that y'all want a better life. Yeah, I feel like this person got too comfortable holding on to you, and your time is up. They got too comfortable with holding on to you, disrespecting you, and and I'm hearing that they time is up, Leo. Some of y'all definitely could be in another situation right now, um, Leo. But it's saying that y'all are letting go of this person because they are very controlling. They play a lot of games. They manipulate a lot. And um, and it's crazy because I got a feeling some of y'all, this person is in a relationship with somebody that they don't even love. I got a feeling it is your person. Somebody is in a relationship with somebody that they don't even love. And it, it's just like they running after you because they don't want you to leave. But um, it's leaving this person in their head when you reject them, Leo. They, they definitely will forever love you. And they're very heartbroken about this situation. Look, we got the, as soon as I said forever love you, we got the lovers right here. You know, it's because they cannot let go of how you love them, Leo. The way you loved him, loved this person, nobody would ever amount to that much of love that you had gave this person, Leo. And now that you have slipped out of this person's life, left this person's life like that, you know, it, it really does bother this person mentally and emotionally. And like I said, this person is like not even themselves right now. They're not. They all in their feelings. You know, they all over the place. And I just felt like you just... I'm telling you, you got you thinking about this person. This person don't want you. I mean, your person is thinking about you so bad. They just don't want you to be in another relationship with somebody else. We all can sit there and thinking about you being in a better commitment because they know that whatever y'all had, it wasn't good enough. They know that, you know, but it will hurt this person's soul. I keep hearing of you getting in another relationship, Leo, and leaving this person behind completely like gone out of your life 
it will really it will really put something within them i'm just getting this disfigured energy like within this person's mind like it will really li listen their whole world will fall apart literally this person's whole world will come crumbling down once you leave this person completely because most of y'all have already left but the thought of you leaving and not coming back what it really put something within they solely y'all it, it really does and it's crazy because like i said this is somebody that's dealing with somebody else but when it comes to you this person's heart is still with you obviously they're not with the person that they are dealing with right now whether your person is in a full-blown commitment or whether they are just being a ho and dating around but at the end of the day you is the one that will forever have this person's heart leo you will forever have this person's heart that's exactly what i'm hearing you know what not these not today not these ones i'm gonna pull some love oracle cards and then i'm gonna pull some more cards i just keep hearing eternal love like forever they will forever love you leo no matter what we got i'm upset i'm obsessed with you so this person could be obsessed with you leo they afraid of you walking away. This person has abandonment issues, whoever this is. They have a break abandonment issues. We got the way I have treated you was wrong. Look, they know they did you wrong. They know what they have done to you was so, so wrong. But some of y'all's person got too they too controlling. They have they have controlling issues. They feel like they have to have the upper hand. They feel like they have to control everything once they get involved with somebody. You know, but we got, I wish I could be a different person. They do want to change for you, Leo. They really do. Because they know what they have done to you was wrong. But um, I just I just feel like this person needs to heal. I, that's the first thing I heard when I pulled that card. That your person has, um, they need to heal. They, they really do. They have abandonment issues. And that's why they controlled you so much in y'all situation or y'all relationship. Because... They just didn't want you to get away. But what it did was push you away. It did not it, it did not keep you around. It pushed you away. Because like I said, y'all want a better life. Y'all want somebody that's going to treat you with love and respect. You know, and you just like, how, how much longer can you hold on to this BS? So you just decided to, started to, you know, make a move and, and create another life. And create a better life. Manifest you another life, Leo. But we're going to see what else there is in this situation. Firm foundation. Victory and success. Yeah, you have gained a lot of discipline, Leo. Literally, you have definitely gained a lot of discipline, you know, in this situation. And um, I just felt like you're going to come out on top. Some of y'all definitely have y'all back turned because, like I said, maybe they are in another connection with somebody else, Leo. But you got your back turned, Leo. And maybe your focus is, maybe you, you got options. Some of y'all got options. Some of y'all definitely do have options. Y'all could be getting attention from other people or another person in particular may be on your mind right now. Yeah, you out here having fun with friends, family members, maybe even going to the club, to the bar. You could be going to events, whatever the case may be, right? Whatever you got going on, that's what you're doing. But you're definitely exploring your options, Leo. You're definitely exploring your options, um, if not, you just, like I say, it's your time to have fun. I feel like you guys have just been stuck on this person for way too long and being unhappy. So now you're just taking that leap of faith and you going out and you enjoying your life. That's exactly what I'm hearing. I feel like you guys are just finally getting ready to actually enjoy your life, Leo, without all the extra, you know, the, all the baggage, the, all the you know, mistreatment, the manipulation, the mind games, and you just don't want no drama in your life right now. Y'all want a better life. Y'all want to be able to enjoy your life and be happy. That's exactly what I'm hearing. Y'all just want to be happy. I'm hearing that song by Mary J. Blige, Happy. You know, all you really want is to be happy. We got the Eight of Pentacles. We got the three of swords, and then we got the page of swords. Some of you guys have a lot going on in your personal life, and I just feel like it has everything to do with your stability. It has everything to do with your 
foundation, Leo. Some of you guys could be focusing on your physical health, I'm hearing, your body. Um, maybe you're trying to figure out ways to um, regain um, a better, I'm hearing a better health, a, a, a healthier lifestyle, I'm hearing. Maybe you're trying to figure out other ways, like whether you're work, working out, whether you're using supplements, I don't know. I'm just seeing that something is getting ready to improve within your life as far as your health, your stability, Leo, your money. And like I said, I just felt like y'all are very disciplined in the things that you want, that, you know, and you're going for it. You're doing whatever you got to do in order to have things correctly aligned in your life, Leo. But you, like I said, y'all come out on top, Leo. Y'all definitely do come out on top. And, um, but I just felt like your person could be heartbroken. I don't feel like this is your energy. Some of y'all, this could be your energy where y'all still could be heartbroken, Leo. But I feel like this is your person. Your person is hurt because you have not only came out on top and leveled up. Because some of y'all have. The rest of y'all are wor working on the goals that you want to achieve. But it is saying that your person is heartbroken because you walked away victoriously. And you out here finally getting to enjoy your life, Leo. And all they can do is sit there and watch you. That's all they can do is sit there and watch you, Leo. Some of you guys, this person probably gossiping about you to other people, friends and family members, because you have turned your back on them. For some of you guys, not everybody. But it is saying that if they see you, then they, they see you. You know, but I, I feel like I'm here. It's my time. It's my turn to be happy. I just keep hearing that Mary J. Blige song. All I really want is to be happy, you know, and um, you just want a better life. You want to learn a better life a better person, a better future, you know, I'm just hearing happy, 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 like, y'all just want to be happy, y'all want to enjoy y'all life, Leo, that's all you really want, not, without the drama, okay, what else, should I take that, Wow, we got willpower. So things are getting ready to align up. I feel like they already have been lining up for you, Leo. Like I said, some of y'all, this person looks like they're holding weights. Maybe you are going back to the gym, Leo. Um, I'm here. I'm getting dumbbells. Maybe you're picking up dumbbells. I don't know. But some of y'all are definitely gaining a lot more, you know, power and strength in this situation and, and focusing on what you want. You just want things to be right aligned in your life i'm getting this alignment energy where you just want things to be at peace you want things to be balanced you just want to be happy and this is your karma right here i got to turn it around we got justice right here this is your good karma things aligning you can't see the other the moon but she's holding the moon and she's holding the world so things are aligning in your life leo it, it really is and some of y'all are moving in silence because when i see the moon i feel like y'all could be moving in silence right now because once again you building a better life for yourself leo and the people around you if you have children if not like i said you are building a better life you are focused you are determined to get things done and this is your karma things are going to start to balance back out for you leo because you left this person and you want a better life that's exactly what i'm seeing but um i'm gonna pull some of these cards and see if, if it resonates, take it. If it don't resonate, then just leave it. But these are some extra random cards that I'm about to pull. We got, you are gifted in putting together ideas. So this is for some of my Leos. It says, make a commitment. So some of you guys, like I said, y'all got a lot going on or you got a lot that you want to pursue. You got a lot to things that you want to accomplish on your list, Leo. And um, Spirit is saying you need to stay committed. Stay committed to whatever gift that you have, whatever idea that you have. Just keep going. Don't give up. That's exactly what I'm hearing. Step away. So some somebody needs to step away from something in particular in your life, Leo. Whether it's a person, place, or thing. It says flowery words should not be trusted. So some of you guys could be meeting new people. But um, I feel like you may not be ready for love right now. Even though you do want a right person leo you may not be ready for love because we do got step away right here and yes you may get a lot of compliments 
from other guys or other men or whatever, but maybe it's either that you're not ready for love right now because you're focusing on your projects, you know, and you are committed to your work and your stability right now, or it just, you feel like people are just telling you what you want to hear and you want, maybe you want a man or a woman with brains, I'm hearing. Maybe you're not looking for compliments from a man or a woman. Maybe you just want a person that stimulates your mind and somebody that can uplift you, stuff like that, certain things that you know, you take value in, not just compliments all day. You want somebody that is serious because some of y'all are stepping away because you feel like the people that's approaching you may not be as serious. You know what I'm saying? And um, they just, you feel like they could just be telling you what you want to hear. But that's for somebody, not everybody. This is what I have for you guys and y'all take care.